So guys, welcome to the newest pack for The Sims 4, which is The Sims 4 Werewolves. Now, I've chatted about this a little bit on stream. I didn't initially love the way that the werewolves looked. I did like the fact that they didn't have dog legs. I still don't. And there was always going to be a line where they were going to end up looking very similar to furries. But today, we're going to see what the cast system of this is all about, how you make werewolves, how they look, and just kind of get our teeth into the new pack a little bit. So, life on the wild side. What big teeth do you have? Transform into a werewolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature. Werewolf sims have unique temperaments and abilities as they experience wolf-specific life events. An alpha or lone wolf, craft your werewolf identity. Were you bitten? Were you born into it? Decide what kind of wolf you want to be. Find a pack to prowl the night or to shut all that and try and make it as a lone wolf. And lycanthrope lore. You have a lot to learn about werewolves. Unravel werewolf vampire and spellcaster lore as you read books and discover secret tunnels and interact with the denizens of Moonwood Mill, which is the new world that they've added. Now, I love that already we can tell that these three are linked. Werewolves, vampires, and spellcasters. I'm not sure if I saw that much linking between vampires and spellcasters, but maybe I just wasn't really looking out for it. I'm hoping there's going to be a little bit more between werewolves and vampires. What I do know is that we're going to get a tree similar to the vampire evolution tree. We can choose what kind of vampire you want to be. Maybe take some downsides that come with being a vampire we'll see something similar for werewolves honestly if it's going to be anything it's peeing on the floor like i saw in the trailer which i did not like it gave me the ick massively i'm just gonna say so i'm really excited to get into that i will be doing a let's play specific for this pack so i can try and learn a little bit about it so that we can try and get our sim bitten and have them go through that route of becoming a werewolf however what i'm going to be doing today is making a sim for that let's play as well who starts off life as a werewolf so we can kind of see somebody who begins as a werewolf versus somebody who is bitten and maybe they have slightly different approaches to being a werewolf now as always when i ever there's a new pack i'm not gonna kind of like give my initial opinions early on i'd rather just play for a bit see if i find the pack fun see if it excites me and then give you my opinions as i go along so that's how i'll be doing things for this and a big thank you for ea for allowing me to get access to this pack early so i could bring you guys this video as soon as the game launched so one thing that i noticed when i updated my game for the new pack i don't know if this has gone live as a free update at the same time but the scenario screen has changed and I kind of hate it. I'm just going to put that out there because it's too bright. It genuinely, like, the white hurts my eyes. And I liked how it looked before. I actually really liked that screen. But I'm going to let you guys form your own opinions on that. And if you guys are ever wondering why you can't find me on the gallery as Claire Siobhan, Claire Calorie is the answer. I use Claire Calorie on the gallery, so... You need to use that if you want to ever want to find any of my things. Okay, let's go ahead and start a new game because we're just going to be creating a character in cast this time. Now, when I go for my Bitten Wolf, I think I already know who I want to use, which is a male sim. And I kind of want to see how a female werewolf will look. So since we're using a male sim from my existing series, let's go ahead and create a female werewolf in cast today. So our occults are looking pretty good right now. We've got alien who deserve more, vampires who are great, Mermaids who also deserve more, spellcasters who are pretty great as well, and werewolves, which is the newest occult. So let's go ahead and add a werewolf to us. Oh! Oh! Is there supposed to be a sim there right now? Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna preface this by saying I'm playing with mods. I enabled cheats. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is cracking me up. I turned mods and cheats back on. Oh! Uh because I kind of wanted... Oh, he even does that in cast. Okay. I'm going to add another and see if we have like a better result because I still wanted access to all of my mods and cheats, but it might break werewolves. We will discover that together now. Let's try adding another werewolf. Okay, yeah. Straight up does not work. I wonder which mod causes that. How about if I link all parts? Okay, yes. Yeah. So some mod that I've got does mess with the beast form you can't see it it's there and it's looking cool in the background but something is broken so i think what i will do is i will keep all of my main mods but just for this i'm gonna turn off script mods and see if that helps okay script mods is not enough i have to dig through my like 50 gig mod folder yay one eternity later okay after a lot of pain a lot of suffering. I think we may have found a fix that still lets me have all of my mods. I want to see a werewolf. I want to see a little fuzzy wolf. Just give me that. Please just give me that. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> it's a wolf. It's a full-on wolf. 
We're here. We're laughing. Okay, let's do this. Let's now make myself a wolf sim. So I'm going to start with the face first and do the wolf form afterwards because I kind of feel like they should be linked. Like one should represent the other. And what I want to do, um, my CC is out in full force. I want to check out some of the new stuff from the park because if I like it, then oh my gosh, please stop putting hair on. I'm probably going to give it a go. And when I say stuff from the new park, I'm very specifically talking about clothing because as you guys know i don't really use hair from oh that's actually quite cool though i always feel like now the hairstyles have got a lot better i use alpha hair so i wouldn't use any of these clay hairs but i find myself wishing for like alpha versions of a lot of hairs like this with the undercut i actually really love i would love that as an alpha hair this is very cool as well as you guys know i love putting random plots in my hair so i feel like this hairstyle speaks to me on a very deep level these are all really cool hairs I feel like if you don't use CC, you're going to be very happy with these hairs. There's some interestingly colored ones as well. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely going to very much like these hairs. And... Wow, that was the most half-hearted owl I've ever heard. Like, do you even, uh, do you even a woo? That's like I've done a full shift and all I want to do is put my feet on the sofa, but you're making me a woo, so... Oh, oh. Okay, that one had a bit more life to it. Do they change based on the voice? I always like this voice. It's like sing-songy. Do you want a woo? No, you've gone quiet. I see how it is. A woo. Go on, do it. Okay, that one. Oh my gosh, there's something about a wolf wearing like this. <sighs> Wolves have pancake, but confirmed. But what is what is this i like the hands i'm never you're never gonna make me like this feet like wolves all canines only their tiptoes are on the floor the rest of their foot is upwards and then it goes out to the foot and then comes back in again and like that's how it should look i'm never gonna get along with these feet it looks like a furry suit to me in fact it's quite furry i was looking at like a modded like werewolf content today there's a very fine line i found between werewolves and furries they are very very much a linked community and this definitely looks leans more towards the furry side of things that I saw, which I did actually already suspect from looking at the original trailer. So, yes. Okay. Oh, Lilted is... I kind of like the Lilted one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's the clear one. Warm is like... I guess we'll never know because I've waited like a full 10 minutes and she's still not wooed. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get another a woo out of her. Anything? Any woo woos? No? Nah, she's quiet. My tummy is a woo woo in though because it is hungry. Okay, so here is kind of my base sim. I'm just going to throw some like skin details and stuff on real quick. I'm just going to throw on these pupil overlays though because I feel like if you're a werewolf, if I can get some that are the right shape. Yeah, I feel like there should be like a permanent sort of look about you, you know, like something that identifies you. You can't like hide your nature sort of thing completely. You've got to be kind of subtle. I'm going to try and get some eyes that like hide it a little bit more. But yeah, I liked the idea of having like permanently... Wait, do wolves have these kind of eyes though? I'm trying to think of what my dog's eyes look like. Yeah, wolves have circle eyes. A bolt plan. I'll have to think of something else. Maybe we go for wolf eye color because wolf's eyes are always like yellow or blue, right? I might go for yellow because it's kind of Okay, so here's our base. I've gone a bit dark around the eyes than I usually would because I figure having to transform in the moon once a month would probably make you pretty tired. And I feel like whatever hair color I give her, she's going to have to have as a wolf. So I'm kind of going to stick just with dark brown for now. Also, I feel like whatever piercings I give her, she's probably going to have to keep as a wolf as well. So I'm going to try and go for some that I think would be easy to replicate on a wolf. Okay, right. Let's check out the new clothes. Oh, and there's the wolf. There's the awoo. Okay, so that is the awoo for warm. And I'm only going to try brush and sweet now. Okay, so our full body options. It feels like it has like quite a grungy sort of feel, this pack, which I kind of like. I, I like this. I would totally put... Oh. The awoos are not like said with enough force for me. I don't feel like you believe in the moon, you know? I want a little bit more out of it than that. I like this. I like that it looks really comfy. This is kind of an interesting patchwork thing. I like this less so, but the clothes underneath I really like. Oh my gosh, it has a little satchel with flowers in it. Okay, well, I clearly love that then. This is cute. Oh gosh, they're all kind of... I don't love the owls. Okay, the clothes are good. The clothes 
a oh my gosh look at the wolfie's design on them i really like the clothes i wish this was a bit more chunky sticking out but i like it i like the little shirt sort of baggy and in the back i feel like i will actually use these and when i say that i think i generally will i like the rip here as well we've got this little combo as well which i think is nice outside of the wolf's pack too comfy clothes this is very like oh my gosh the little where's it gone look at that with the now she won't shut up with a little mushroom i like that a lot i think that's really cute it's kind of giving me cottage living i feel like it should be in that park but i like it because it looks so cozy this also feels like it should be in cottage living to me as well there's a bit of a crossover like that could definitely be in cottage living which is interesting. Okay. Tops, like to me, it's saying Twilight. Like the clothes are kind of saying quite Twilight-esque. All like vampire dies, diaries. I'm kind of getting that sort of vibe from them. Like some of these little like little jumper numbers and like this sort of thing feel very Elena Gilbert. We've got a little leather jacket. Again, we've got a little, oh, it's got designs on the back as well, which is quite cool. Another jumper. I'm feeling like this new world is going to be fairly cold or like... You need to dress warm for it, you know? This looks identical to a piece of CC I have from Clumsy Alien, therefore confirming. This pack is very Clumsy Alien-esque. Uh, this is so similar to this. It just has like a the shearling collar at the top and a bit of a different top inside. This is really cute as well. Oh my God, I love this. I love anything layered because I don't find that like as much of my CC stuff is layered. So I like using like sometimes the Maxis layered stuff. That's very ripped. Maybe you were wearing that when you transformed. I'm not sure. This is very ripped as well. I kind of dig a ripped top though. Like artfully ripped where each rip costs you an extra like 50 quid i kind of like i like that style you know okay they're all pretty cute i'm gonna throw this on just for the sake of trying things on because i feel like it will go well with things yep i knew it okay so we've got these trousers with a rip it's really grungy the stuff is very grungy how high up do the jeans go okay they're not quite waist high but they're trying i feel like they're trying they're trying the very hardest why have these stupid lines on them? They'd look really nice without the stupid lines. Little skirt combo. Again, just pull it up to the waist, Sims. Nobody wears things to their belly button. That would be so uncomfortable. Like, I always wear it slightly higher than my belly button because otherwise it's just gonna, your belt's gonna rub your belly button and then you're gonna have a sore belly button. No one does this. We wear things a little bit higher. It's to the narrowest part of the waist. I like the pockets coming through. But yeah, nothing ever goes where I would wear it. A skirt with like a little cardigan coat thing. Again, it should have had a bit more thickness to me. It looks like it's painted on rather than 3D. And then whatever this is, the less we say about that, the better. Again, maybe you were transforming when you put it on. I'm going to put her in this because I just feel like it's such a vibe. Like, is the werewolf going to be wearing that? Hopefully someone makes a mod that you can have werewolves that are naked but don't show bits. Because like, I want like a Skyrim-esque werewolf. I want it to be kind of scary, you know? Okay, I like this one a lot so i'm gonna put her in this new accessories we've got some cute oh my gosh shut up we've got some like cute bracelets which is kind of a vibe bandages on the hands i don't know i just like this it adds mystique like why is she bandaged up i don't know but it's kind of cool we've got a ring as well like a little ring on this finger which if i zoom in to show you guys is actually super cute and it has a moon on it and actually this goes on a few different fingers oh my gosh and you can layer them oh <gasps> Okay, actually digging that hard. Is there like a black version or like a dark version of each of them? Because I like dark rings, you know? Okay, that's actually a whole vibe. And then we do have new nails as well. So we've got these ones, which I like a lot because they kind of like, again, it's hinting that you're a werewolf when you're actually not. So I'm digging those. These ones look really similar again to a piece of CC I've got from Go Paul's Me. These ones are like a little bit, they sort of look like gems slash the night sky. I'm seeing like a silhouette of trees in there. And then these ones actually have like a pad. So they must be the default werewolf nails, but I'm going to put these ones on her because we want a bit of subtlety in the daytime. And then new shoes. We've got like long converse. These and these. Okay, I'm not loving the shoes. Not going to lie. Like, because I get what they're trying to do. But like, it just looks like they're painted onto her feet. So like if I compare those to like these actually, like those are cool boots. And these actually look 3D. Like look, it actually looks like a 3D shoe, you know? So I'm going to put those ones on her instead. And any socks, any werewolf socks? No, no socks. Okay, fine. I'm just going to go custom content because I feel like it kind of matches the vibes, right? Oh, the shoes are actually messing with the eyes. Oh no, it's the rings. It's the rings that are messing with the eyelashes. 
I could just put some different eyelashes on her. Yeah, let's do that because I want to keep her rings on. Okay, no new makeup. A bit of a missed opportunity with the grungy feel. I feel like they could have given us something like this. But I feel like there's a lot of build buy stuff for this. So we will check that out once we've moved into the park. So there are some new jewelry. We've got a new nose ring. It's quite... Oh, it's a double. Oh, we've got a double nose ring. Okay, this makes me hopeful you can put it on the wolf and have it like as a matching nose ring. I think that would be really cool. It is freaking huge on the human though, which I don't love. There's also a literal dog tug through the ear like you're a pet, which I'm not going to go for, but it's there. And then there's a necklace. There's like this medallion kind of like plum bobby. Wait, it's clipping with a top. But the top's from the park. How can it clip with a top when they're from the park? No, that sucks. I'm, used, I'm not using custom content for her top. Okay, this necklace should be higher. That's annoying. I don't know if that's a bug or what, or just got misting testing. <laughs> But just like that, I am going to give her a little like moon necklace though, because we don't want to flaunt it, but we're also not like ashamed. I feel like she's secretly quite proud of being a wolf, you know? And I liked the nose ring idea, but to me, it's just way too big. So I'm going to go for a custom content nose ring instead. And I know it's not a double, but just pretend it is. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys that I thought was really cool is there's a bunch of new scars and I personally love scars. So I thought we would try out some of these. Uh, the good thing is they do show through skin details as well. This one in particular, I just think is so cool. And I guess maybe there's like werewolf fights. I don't know. I've tried to deliberately not see too much because I like to like explore it all when I play the game myself. So I'm going to go for this one because it's my fave. There's also some extra eye ones you can add as well. Honestly, the scars. Oh, look how badass she looks. The scars are such a freaking vibe. Let's go for that one too. These ones I'm trying to remember. No, they didn't come with that pack yet. Okay. Yeah, it's just these ones and these ones. And then also you can get like full body scars as well. So like, look how cool these are. And only it's not taking off her clothes when I go to that. Like it should take them off, right? But it doesn't. So how, I, how can I see what this one looks like? I'd have to switch to tattoos and then switch back again to see her scars, which sucks because I want to give her some badass scars. Like I want to give her a back one and this one, which together, that's so badass. Oh, look at the one on her leg as well. Her hair's hiding it a little bit, but love that. Okay. Oh, and I can give her a bite mark on her arm. Look at that. She's literally been bitten. She is not afraid of a fight and I'm kind of there for it. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this one here, the bite one there and like full body ones just because I think they're really cool. And we've also got one on her leg as well. Okay, she's looking sufficiently amazing, but how does this look? right here translate to being a wolf i'm scared but let's find out okay here is what oh jesus this is what i was afraid of i don't like clothes on the wolves i don't like them i don't like them one bit okay i think her body is tied to her sim body why you got clothes on but if i take okay i can take her clothes off i think wolves should be naked I definitely think that they should be fully naked. So I'm just going to make my wolf naked. And then I can choose like patterns. So this is a default. This is a default. Oh, the eyes. Is it because I've got makeup? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so cursed. Look at the eyelashes coming out. It looks like you're wearing glasses. How do I like get rid of those? Oh my gosh, the eyelashes are stuck on them. Well, that's the most cursed thing I ever saw. Am I just gonna have to not be able to have eyelashes? I don't know. Okay, does not work well with custom content eyelashes. We've got like a stripey pattern, an owl, these ones. Okay, and you can also paint, I believe. Yeah, you can paint the same way you can do with pets. So like if I wanted to like create my own pattern, then I could very well do that. But I might add a few bits, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I kind of want her pattern to sort of replicate her true form, like her human form. So I really wish I could color pick from her human form. But I'm just going to try and do it based on like a hair color and her skin color. So I think maybe something like this kind of works for her because then these are representing her hair. I'm still finding it really weird. Like I will go to face edit in a second, see if I can make it look less toony. I'm definitely not putting clothes on though. How do I take those eyelashes off now? Like the forms are no longer linked. So if I take the eyelashes off here, will it take them off her form there too? Or will she just be stuck with them? Oh, <gasps> they're still there. I can't get the eyelashes off. The eyelashes are fully stuck on. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're, they're trapped on here for some reason. The eyelashes are just, are just there, haunting me. Okay, that's disturbing. Even if I've taken them off her, they don't take it off her. Yeah, I can't get the eyelashes off. Because <laughs> they're like stuck on glasses, but I can't access glasses. 
Like, they're there, but it just adds to them. It just layers them up. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's so disturbing. I don't know why they're locked onto there. I don't know why they are. That's really weird. Okay, so I'm going to stick with my naked wolf. Let's see what else we can do. There's other faces. But I'm going to keep what we've got because I'm guessing this is the one most based on her. There's different ears you can have. So you can have like one up and one down or both down or like, okay. I like, oh, okay. The one with the piece taken out is really cool. This is kind of linksy, which I'm kind of digging. This has had a whole piece torn off. I'm kind of going to go for like the one with the chunk taken out because I think that's amazing. There's different cheek tufts that you can go for. I think the bigger, the better because it makes you look more wolfy. Let's stick quite big there's different noses okay i'm kind of digging like this little petite more feminine nose am i verifying myself right now i don't know <gasps> these are the teeth okay so i can have like a missing tooth i can have quite close teeth quite far teeth double teeth are those i'm struggling to even see like what is going on there i don't know i'm gonna go for like i think the these ones here are like what i would consider like traditional werewolf teeth so i'm gonna stick with those even though i think these teeth are actually better those are the pixis ones that i use for like sometimes for vampires but they I got them for werewolves. But we'll stick with these ones since we're trying out this pack. There's some different chin tuff. Oh gosh. Maybe a little, a little chin tuff. Am I trying to make it look feminine or not? At this point, I really don't know. And then, okay, those nose rings do translate over, which I was kind of hoping for. So my nose ring is on this side and it's gold. So at least I can match that in wolf form. And then I can like add my piercings as well in wolf form. So at least those match over. I'm still really struggling to get my head around this. I can have like a dog collar. I wear this collar though. But again, I just don't think it should be on a wolf. I'm okay with piercings. I draw the line at necklaces. And then like, can I... Oh, okay. We have eyes. Oh, her eyes are like... Oh, yellow, of course, because they're a wolf. So let's add some like yellow eyes. Can I like impact this color around the eyes? Can I like do anything about that? Okay, we have different like eye types. Okay. I want just like yellow wolf eyes. I'm hoping somebody releases some CC eyes because I don't love these ones. I feel like maybe these are the closest to the ones I've got. But please let me do detail edit. Okay. Those eyelashes are really annoying me. Yeah, I want it to be more like her actual eye shape. Okay, you can do quite a lot of like moving around and editing. Can I not take her eyebrows off? Like, why does it have eyebrows? Would a wolf have eyebrows? Like, surely I just want to take those off. I think they look better off. Maybe I'd do some like shading. Have you got lipstick on? I only have one mouth option. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try and make her look a little bit more like, like her sim form. Oh no, I feel like I'm kind of making a Disney character. That's what I'm sort of feeling from this. It feels very like Disney character-esque. Oh, I can turn the ears backwards and forwards. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm still feeling kind of slightly confused by the whole thing. I'm trying, though. I'm giving it my best shot, I promise. I'm feeling like I might change her pattern again. Just to see... Yeah, because, look, the shading around the face is a little bit more pleasant. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe I don't mind that. I don't know. I don't know. I like that she's kept her freckles, though. But, yeah, why the eyelashes? Seriously, why? I'm kind of like, do I keep eye the eyebrows on? I don't know. I'm still kind of, like, not really sure, I would say. You've got your nails on and your feces on. Okay. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. This would be like a ripped tee on the wolf and like the ripped trousers i don't think they should wear clothes it's too weird for me i'm a skyrim wolf kind of girl i'm trying really hard i promise you guys i'm trying but my brain is like no 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 absolutely no that's how it feels right now what do you guys think wolfie i don't know let's see what the new traits are so we have this overarching werewolf thing <gasps> there is a whole new werewolf aspiration with a bonus trait called luna confidant these sims get an initial relationship boost when introducing themselves to werewolves positive or negative depending on how they act and there's just one aspiration you can choose which is werewolf initiate this sim wants to unleash her inner beast and become a werewolf i mean that's really cute it's like a little baby isn't it any new traits i don't think there are i was really hoping there'd be some new traits with it but oh well i feel like werewolves in general are probably pretty hot-headed also because you're looking so cute doing those poses i feel like they would be low maintenance personally like low maintenance energy she's got to be feisty anyway because she's covered in scars right they're definitely not going to be vegetarians i don't know they don't care too much about like dirty households they're probably going to be animal enthusiasts, right? Or would they rather kill 
the animals or eat them. I don't know. She's having a bad set of traits so far. Maybe family orientated. Less for this cuteness, but more like puck. Like you want to look after the puck kind of thing. And yeah, this is my werewolf. I love her. I think she's like so cool. And I really like the sim that I've made. But do I like her werewolf form? I'm not sure. It's going to take me a lot getting used to it. The eyelash bug is literally destroying my soul right now. I don't know how to clear the eyelashes. Once they're on, I do not know how to get rid of this. I don't know if we need to, uh, like, there needs to be an eyelash update or what. Or if you just never need to put custom eyelashes on because they will stay, like, stuck forever and ever and ever. Amen. But yeah, her eyelashes are forever stuck. I think maybe it will grow on me over time. Maybe over time I will change my mind and start to like the wolves more. This is kind of what I'm used to with a werewolf. This is more what I was expecting. Like quite a big head, like really elongated arms. The legs doing this. I wasn't expecting it to be a scary Skyrim because Skyrim's like an 18 plus game and this is Sims. But I don't know if I was expecting this. I think a happy medium could have been found in between. You know, I still wanted big teeth and I really wanted the legs to look different. Different. I think the heads are too small. I think maybe that's doing it too. And the arms, like, I feel like the, ugh, it's hard because they'd have had to make new animations for everything. Right now, I'm not digging it, but I'm definitely going to give myself some time and see how I feel about it once I start playing with them. Because, you know, aesthetics are one thing, but good gameplay is always more important. So I'm going to finish off this werewolf. I'm going to give her the most basic werewolf name in existence and call her Luna. Luna Waters. So there she is. Let me know what you guys think of her. I will show you a blue-eyed option as well because we were going for wolf eye colors, weren't we? So that would be her with blue eyes, which I think is really cute. But I like the yellow eyes. I think that they're kind of a vibe. So I'm going to stick with those. And I will be try using her to try out the game alongside one sim from my main series as well. I'm sure you guys can guess that who. And yeah, let me know what you think of the beast forms let me know if anyone figures out how to get the eyelashes off and i will be playing with her very very soon so let me know what you guys think i will be uploading a whole werewolves let's play which you guys i'm hoping are gonna enjoy and tune into and i will see you guys there bye